Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and today I have been tagged in a Scrappy Tag video um, by Jess Claire uh, from Jess Claire Creates on YouTube. So 15 questions and here are my 15 answers. First question was, uh, what is one scrapbook item you do not own that surprises you? Um, Probably one item that I don't own that surprises me is a typewriter. Um, I love the look of typewritten font on a layout. The reason it surprises me is because normally if I want something I do tend to just go and buy it. But um, on this occasion um, I have withheld from buying one. Um, the cost of the We Are Memory Keepers typewriter I think is £200 here in the UK so I haven't bought one for that reason but it's on my list for Santa Claus so um, question number two if you were designing your own line what three elements would be required um, I'm just taking it that pattern paper is automatically included so I'm not even gonna go there um, that's a wasted um, one answer so ephemera um, would be an absolute must um, puffy stickers I love puffy stickers so that would probably be um, the second element and um, okay so pattern paper but pa um, paper um, that you can fussy cut so that to me would be an absolute requirement in a line if I designed it uh, question number three what one item is a must for you to finish a layout um, I thought about this and it's a it's I don't have one item that I must use to finish a layout and um, when I look back over all of my layouts there isn't particularly one thing that I always grab to finish a layout I would say that enamel dots always um, make a layout look more finished um, and if there is one thing I suppose if I'm really pushed it would be tiny, the Tim Holtz tiny word stickers um, they are probably one of my favourite things to use um, so if I was pushed to say something then it would be that question number four what uh, most use social media influence beside YouTube so um, Instagram and Pinterest are probably very close in the running um, I am I go on to Instagram every single day and I'm constantly double tapping um, everybody's layouts I just love all the inspiration that's out there I love in, I love Pinterest as well um, Pinterest is where I first started um, pinning surprisingly uh, pinning layouts and using that now I never I, I very very rarely um, scrap lift stuff that I see on Pinterest I save a whole ton of stuff um, but I just use it for inspiration um, to be honest I do like to create my own original um, layouts as much as I possibly can there are some ones that do really catch my eye and I think that's gorgeous and, and I just uh, I have to scrap lift it so if I was to pick between the two probably probably Instagram um, more accessible um, easy just to sort of scroll through um, and I am on Instagram as well so if you don't already follow me then um, I will leave a link actually down below for you for you to head over and uh, and follow along uh, question number five who is your dream collaborator so this in itself was a very tough question because there are so many talented ladies out there um, that do such great jobs um, on their scrapbooking um, I gave this a bit of thought and I would personally love to um, collaborate with with Paige Evans and there are two reasons for that I absolutely love the collections that she comes out with um, I love the colors I love the styling um, just love 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 them and secondly the reason why she would be my dream collaborator is because she is she I love her style so I look at some collections and I look at the um, the artists actually uh, creating it and how what they do with it and out of everybody I would say that she is probably my, my dream collaborator for that reason. Um, if money was no object what would your first purchase be? Simple, bigger house, bigger craft room, done. Uh, what do you have most of in your stash? Oh easy one, hands down, pattern paper, now you actually you can't see it behind me but 
um, it's quite funny because I asked my husband um, these questions to see what his answers would be and his answer straight away like that was paper um, as if it was a stupid question 12 by 12 pads, loose 12 by 12 sheets, 6 by 6 pads literally coming out of my ears so um, I just love, I can't get enough of pattern paper and um, yeah I have loads of it and I can't stop myself and I don't apologise for it either um, so next question uh, favourite item in your stash hmm okay um, probably my thickers I absolutely love my thickers and I just buy them and I buy them because the way that I see it is um, it doesn't matter what um, what collection you're using you will find a pack of thickers that will match it um, so I do get some of the thickers that go with the collections and other ones I just get random ones and I try to get different colours as well to, to top up my stash uh, different styles, uh, yeah so part of the reason I like it is the fact that you can get the foam ones, the chipboard ones, you can get um, the glitter ones um, you can get, oh there's loads of different ones out there, I'd be here all day if I was to list them all but yeah thickers because they're versatile and also you can create your titles um, with the with the thickers as well and that can help you tell the story of the photo um, so especially if you're not one for journaling and I'm a bit hit and miss on my journaling um, that really does help uh, with your storytelling uh, number nine most used item um, pff, white card stock go through tons of it uh, number 10, where do you do your crafting? Uh, mainly in my crafting room. Uh, my crafting room? Mainly in my craft room. Um, I have my craft rooms tour um, up on up on YouTube as well. So if you haven't seen that already, then um, do go back and um, and take a look. I know that some of you have said I've not, I've not shown you what's in this um, unit behind me with the colourful drawers. To be honest, it's just a load of random rubbish in there. Um, I bought that when I first started crafting and I've got things like double-sided foam pads and I've got rub-ons and just really older stuff, um, blank um, blank card um, templates for, for card making. It all gets stored in there, nothing glamorous and nothing too exciting. Uh, but apart from when I'm not crafting in my craft room, I my parents bought me a just a fold out uh, table. Um, it lives downstairs in the living room. So when um, when my husband um, is a bit lonely um, and he says, "Come and watch a film with me," then I'll quite often just pop my craft table up um, and so I can carry on crafting downstairs. Um, and that but that's when it starts to get messy because then some of my stuff starts to creep downstairs and. Yeah, I have to control myself. Uh, number 11, is there a layout or project you have been procrastinating on? Um, constantly. It's just part and parcel of being a scrapbooker, I think. Um, now, I, I do draw um, sketches in a notepad, and um, I've got quite a few now, and I've never actually um, made a layout from any of these sketches, and I keep meaning to get around to doing it, but um, that is probably... Um, a project that I've been meaning to get to and also organizing my um, all of my layouts in the albums in chronological order um, it just always seems to be something better to do than sit and just sort out all the layouts so happily accept any offers anybody wants to come to my craft room I'll let you scrap away afterwards um, you can use all of my all of my stuff um, I'll even let you use my uh, my Maggie Holmes and my um, Paige Evans stuff now fair offer I think uh, number 12 nearly coming to an end here when you finish a layout does it go straight away or into a pile again on my craft room tour I have a um, set of metal mesh drawers um, and I just put them all in there when that drawer gets full I then chuck them in an album uh, scrappy crush who would make you grin or just be so excited if they liked or commented on your project? Um, this has already happened to me and I had proper fangirl moments um, when this happened. So Amy Tangerine uh, commented and, and liked some of my stuff on, on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, sorry, not Facebook, on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, Dear Lizzie, Paige Evans also... Um, liked and commented on my um on some instagram stuff um 
so I still do, I do studio, do, 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 do. Um, I still get really giddy when that happens uh, to me, to be honest with you. Um, and I remember I, I was looking sort of, I was looking at the analytics on, on YouTube and I couldn't believe um, when I saw uh, Missy Wooden and Tori Bissord both subscribed uh, to little old me on, on YouTube. So I was so humbled. Um, that they take the time to watch um, to watch me scrapbook. So, and hi to both of you if you're watching. A special little shout out. Um, Favourite places to shop? Um, it's difficult here in the UK. Um, we have a few shops. I do subscribe um, to a kit club. I'm also on the design team for another kit club that I absolutely love doing. That's Quirky Kits. Uh, big shout out to Quirky Kits if you're looking for a UK kit club. Um, uh, but apart from that, when I buy my extra things, I buy the occasional stuff from Hobbycraft. I know they've had some American craft stuff in uh, for the last over the last couple of months, and I've really been happy uh, to see that in but they don't have any of the new stuff, which doesn't surprise me. Um, so I tend to go to Hey Little Magpie. Um, they're brilliant, and their, their um, delivery is super quick. Um, so if you're impatient like me, it's perfect. Um, and then apart from that, I mean, we do tend to holiday in America, um, and I love Tuesday morning when I'm over there. I literally ransack the... Um, the crafting bit just to try and find as many packets of thickers for two dollars as I can um, and yeah so when we go out whenever we go out I literally go out we go out with half empty suitcases me and my husband and we come back with four full suitcases and the hand luggage is absolutely crammed and it's because of all my craft stuff paper pads thickers <clears throat> enamel dots the lot and again I don't care and then finally um, dream job in the industry now i'm not i'm not artistic um in the slightest so i think i would really struggle um to actually create a scrapbooking line i i, I don't know i've never tried it but i think i would struggle with that from the artistic side of things um but i'm very creative and if i could scrapbook full-time um creating content for um, for YouTube viewers then if that earned me a living um, I would quit my job tomorrow and I would just scrapbook all day um, so that would to me would be my perfect um, job in the industry so that's it that's all 15 questions done um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video a little bit something different me in front of the camera this time as well so um, I try and do a few more face-to-face -face bits but you know us girls do get a little bit shy um, and yeah if you'd like to um, if there are any other questions you'd like answered then feel free to leave them in the comments down below and as I say every time I respond to every single person that leaves me leaves me a comment and um, yeah I'll see you all on my next video don't forget to head over to Instagram give this video a like hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed love to have you uh, follow along with uh, with me really means a lot and um yeah i'll see you next time bye oh, i can't turn it off now